Digital and Printed Batteries. I'm Xiao Xi, a technology analyst with ID TechX. I have been watching and researching flexible printed and sensing batteries since 2014, and now I would like to share some insights in this area. So we are already quite familiar with conventional batteries used in many applications. The technologies for fabricating these batteries are mature, and the production facilities are already in place. Therefore, they are produced in hundreds of millions of units with relatively low cost. However, we are requiring batteries with improved performances, such as more powerful, less longer, safer, flexible, thin, with special form factors, and of course cheaper. Here, you can find a selection of batteries with special form factor and the structure factors, from thin film to flexible, stretchable, rollable batteries, from solid state to printed batteries, and from transparent to tiny, large area batteries. So flexible printed and thin film batteries are an umbrella term. It describes batteries from different angles. For instance, thin batteries are based on thickness differentiation, and micro and large area batteries focus on battery footprint. Flexible batteries are referred to mechanical properties. They're also present but not limited to stretchable, foldable, rollable, and bendable batteries. Some unique shaped batteries have different form factors. Transparency is describing optical properties of a battery. Um, and we also conducted the research from the materials point of view. Many flexible printed and thin film batteries are based on material or electrochemical system innovations, such as solid state battery, lithium anode battery, etc. So now we have found a gradual transition of focus in this industry as the materials that can be chosen for battery development are limited. Although many researchers are still working on material, chemistry, and battery systems to further improve the battery performance, this process is slow and difficult. Therefore, many players have changed or are changing their focus to other approaches such as on reducing the energy consumption and various charging methods. In addition, people are developing new markets, such as electric vehicles and energy st storage systems, largely enabled by battery cost reduction, as well as emerging applications like variables, medical devices, internet of things, etc. Traditional batteries cannot be applied as special features such as thinness, flexibility, lighter weight, extreme small footprint are required. Flexibility can help to increase the energy stored in a battery. For, for example, based on current energy density, a battery which can last longer between two charges usually need a larger size. But if you can bend your battery around your wrist, you can have a larger battery size. Um, and accordingly, it can last longer. And of course, many companies are working on a combination of those approaches. Um, existing and potential applications of flexible printed and thin film batteries cover a wide range. So this table really shows the application market roadmap from left to right capacity increases for the first column, IoT, man's medical implant backup power usually requires small capacity in the micro and the one million hour range. Small volume production is ready. Most of the batteries for these applications are rechargeable, small, with a long cycle life. They tend to incorporate it with energy harvesting. In the 10 million hour um, to several tens of a million hour range, we have smart cars, in patches, RFID applications. Both disposable and rechargeable versions can be found. Cost is a very important factor, so they are very price sensitive. There are companies focusing on customized solutions, variables, and medical devices usually require battery capacity in the 100 million hour range. In this case, High energy density and the small size with long working hours are important. 
players are trying to offer special form factors such as flexibility, stretchability, thinness, etc. And prototypes are already available. In terms of consumer electronics, several an hour is required for the battery capacity. Uh, again, long working hours and small size, higher power are important. Um, regarding the uh, transport and large scale energy storage applications, safety, reliability, high power and high capacity are important, uh, while form and structure factors are not considered as priorities. So that is to say, at least in the next decade, thin flexible and printed battery will not target those applications. So seeing the brief introduction of applications, we can find there are lots of technology push due to the development of printed electronics, uh, IoT variable technologies, new material discovery, new manufacturing methods, and the new device structure design. However, they must be filtered to fill the market demand. Now there is a mismatch between the technology push and the market pool as a successful tackle to fill the gap is the key to the gate of uh, commercialization. So right now, there are many material suppliers, technology licenses, a few work, a few companies work on component manufacturing, and a lot collaborate with other companies or behave as an integrator. So this market is really technology driven with many joints leading and small startups following. So there are many niche applications and the majority offered wire killer solutions. Players tend not to compete in price level but focus on differentiation. So in the future we will see increased partnership and joint development. So all the discussions we had are based on IDTAC's report. Uh, flexible printed and thin film batteries 2016 to 2026. Um, technologies forecast players, uh, which have just been updated. The report focuses on the available and potential technologies and commercialization opportunities, providing 10 year market forecast segmented by application and technology. So if, if you would like to know more details, you are more than welcome to refer to the original report or contact me. And um, thanks very much for your attention and I really appreciate your time.